I'm a huge proponent of caffeine. I'll be the first to say that. I'm always touting the benefits when it comes down to fatty acid mobilization and ketone production. I'm always touting the benefits when it comes down to boosting your metabolism. But I want to talk a little bit about something different. In fact, I want to talk about the combination of a couple of things. There's another compound that's out there that's called teacrine. Okay? And when it's combined with caffeine, do some really powerful things together. You see, teacrine is actually a pure alkaloid very, very similar to caffeine. I'm gonna give you the quick lowdown on what teacrine is and how it works in the body, because I've talked about it in other videos and I've always been a huge advocate of it, but I'm just now learning about the combination of caffeine and teacrine and it's gotten me interested in it again. So teacrine is very similar to caffeine, except it is different in that it has an additional methyl group added to the open nitrogen. Basically, all this means is it doesn't bind to the same enzymes that caffeine binds to, which means it has a slightly different process in the body. It doesn't have that secondary metabolite effect. What does that mean? It means it doesn't cause the jitters, it doesn't cause the crash, and it doesn't cause the habit formation. This is really, really powerful. You see, caffeine is great, but caffeine does have secondary metabolites that cause these issues. The jitters aren't a direct effect of caffeine. They're actually another process, another enzymatic process that happens down the line that makes you shake. It's not always bad, it's just kind of annoying. But when we look at how teacrine functions, it's very, very similar to caffeine, but without that. You see, caffeine, like I've mentioned in other videos, occupies an adenosine receptor. It looks like this. Your brain has all kinds of little pockets in it, okay? These little pockets that are sort of like this. Caffeine is a molecule that fits like this, and it fits right in that receptor. And it makes it so that those receptors are rendered sort of useless. But what those receptors normally do is they receive something called adenosine. And adenosine makes us tired. Now, it's normal and we need it. But when we block that receptor with caffeine, we make it so that adenosine can't get in. It doesn't make us tired. It forces us to be awake. But eventually, when that caffeine wears off, we get a flood of all the adenosine that's been pooling up, and it floods us, and it makes us tired, and it makes us crash. Teacrine doesn't do that. It works a little bit different, so you don't have the crash, but it still works in the same fashion. But there's also some other benefits when it comes down to teacrine that caffeine doesn't have. It affects your dopamine system, so it actually affects DRD1 and DRD2 receptors in your body, which means that it stops the reuptake of dopamine, causing your body to produce more. Well, what does this mean? It ends up meaning that your body has a steady stream of dopamine helping you feel good and helping to trigger that reward system, so you feel like you accomplished something. You feel really good. This helps you a lot when you're working out, or it helps you a lot when you're trying to adhere to a diet. Okay? So there's a lot of things that we like about teacrine. It can help you with your energy, it helps you with your mood, it also has very, very powerful anti-inflammatory effects in the body, meaning it can help you recover. Okay? Then it also has extremely powerful antioxidant effects within the body. So we've got this world of benefits there, but where does caffeine come into play too? See, you can, if you want, take just plain teacrine without caffeine, and that's totally fine. You're going to get a lot of benefits. But there are some benefits that people like of caffeine too. There are some additional fat loss benefits that come with caffeine, so why not combine the two? Well, studies are showing that just doing that does some really powerful things. In fact, the Journal of Caffeine Research did a study that found that teacrine and caffeine are much more effective when they're together. And it does this because caffeine improves the bioavailability of teacrine. So this study looked like this. It had a group that took just teacrine, a group that took just caffeine, and a group that took teacrine and caffeine together. Well, when they started looking at the pharmacokinetics of this, they found that teacrine and caffeine had the best result. And it wasn't because teacrine did anything to caffeine. Caffeine actually enhanced the effects of teacrine. To be completely honest, caffeine had the big effect on teacrine, but teacrine had zero effect on caffeine. So what that means is you're getting the benefit of caffeine, okay, the fat burning, everything like that, the benefit of teacrine, which is more fat burning and also more energy and more dopamine surge, but the caffeine is boosting the effects of the teacrine, meaning you're getting extra dopamine surge and you're also getting an extra boost when it comes down to the anti-inflammatory and the antioxidant properties. So caffeine by itself is making teacrine a lot more powerful, but it's also making it so that your caffeine doesn't cause a crash. So that means you can have your coffee but take teacrine with it and you won't crash later because the teacrine is sort of nullifying the effects of the caffeine as far as the adenosine surge goes. 
This is really, really powerful. It basically is making it so that you can start building up a better reaction to caffeine and not build up a massive tolerance over time, not to mention getting the immediate benefits. Then there was another study that Rutgers University just did where they took 125 milligrams of teacrine in conjunction with 150 milligrams of caffeine and they found that reaction time and focus improved dramatically in athletes. They did this study compared to caffeine alone. Now caffeine, as simple as it is, has been known worldwide as one of the best supplements for athletes for a very, very long time. In fact, there was a period of time where it was almost outlawed with the Olympics because it was so powerful. Caffeine is great, but when we find that reaction time and choice reaction time improves as well as accuracy when in conjunction with teacrine, that's really, really cool. We actually just found a way to improve our mental game while we're playing sports or while we're doing any kind of physical activity. So that's the gist of it, a new way to be able to control your caffeine. Because personally, I've been looking for a way that I can continue to consume caffeine and not have the negative secondary metabolite effects of it. I don't want the jitters, I don't want the crash, and I wanna be drinking coffee for a long time and not feel like I have to drink more and more and more of it to have the same effect or to ever have it work in the first place. So teacrine plus caffeine seems to be an awesome way to get that energy boost. So as always, make sure you're keeping it locked in here on my channel. Make sure you get your hands on a little bit of teacrine, a little bit of caffeine, start toying with it yourself, seeing how you feel and seeing if it affects you in a positive way like it does me. As always, I will see you in the next video.